This is a Vauxhall Astra 2 litre CDTI EcoFlex. It's a 16 valve SRI 5 door with start stop. It's 2014 on a 64 plate and has done, oh gosh, how many has it done? 55,820 miles. It has height and reach adjustable steering wheel. The fuel economy, 52.3 urban, 70.6 extra urban and 62.8 combined. Very economical car and 0 to 60 in 8.5 seconds. Top speed of 134 miles per hour from a 163 brake horsepower engine. It's one owner and the MOT is till the uh, 14th of September 2018. So a nice long MOT there. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Um, actually, just let me show you this. Um, First service, 9th of the 11th, 2015, at 16,784 miles. Second service, 21st of September, 2016, 33,981 miles. It's had two proper services and probably a sales service. We'll check it over. We, we do these test drives before. Um, we send them around the workshop just to make sure everything was okay and uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it now. So multifunction steering wheel, we've got cruise on the left here, you've got your voice controls on the right, um, Audio controls, telephone, wipers on the right, indicators and lights on the left, or indicators and main beam on the left, lights there, just to the right of the steering wheel. Nice sports seats. The car is finished in carbon flash black uh, with a anthracite charcoal interior, uh, contrasting. Ivory stitching and also um, anthracite outer panels and uh, a dotted centre panel. You've got kind of an alu aluminium effect surround the gear tunnel and radio and climate controls. Nice driving position. So very economical, only only twenty pound road tax. You've got trip computer plus um, warning panel in the centre there. Go this way round today. So let's see what we've got there. That shows your tyre pressures, speed warnings, economy, it shows you uh, your miles per gallon over your past journeys. Average miles per gallon, instantaneous miles per gallon. carriageway now Too much gas there coming. It's uh, on a bend there, and of course, with it being front wheel drive, it's easier to make the tyres spin.
nice and quiet no vibrations anywhere so we, we use these test drives uh, to tell the customer a little bit about the car um, and also to prove that it drives okay before you leave a deposit or come and see it or, or whatever um, it is uh, it is difficult for me to be critical I've been in the motor trade all my life I've had all sorts of demonstrators work for all sorts of different companies and uh, some cars in the past the steering wheels felt slightly offset and the, the pedal box has, has just been a, where you don't want it and after after 40 odd years you kind of jump in a car and make your body fit the car so they're all okay to me obviously I, I can if there's anything wrong with the steering or brakes and, and so on then um, I can tell it straight away but as far as driving position, um, I really, really have to think about it. Are the pedals in a place where, I, if I was just jumping in the car for the first time, or I was going to drive it for the next three or four years, would it be okay? Would the steering wheel be okay? Is it is, is the seat comfortable? Well, in this car, the answer has to be yes. It, um, I, I do like Vauxhalls. After all, I, I started life selling Opals, which um, were brilliant cars and uh, they amalgamated with Vauxhall under the General Motors banner and Vauxhall ended up with all Opal's cars um, I think before then the Vauxhall cars were uh, well left a lot to be desired they were old fashioned they were built well as, as soon as they um, amalgamated with Opal the Opals, the cars came from Germany or Russellheim and so on and the cars that were built abroad were better than the cars built in England so it, the English had to get their standards up um, which they did and now the build quality is pretty good uh, the reliability is good the designs are great um, I think uh, at the time when I was selling them, the, the chief designer was a guy called Wayne Cherry and all he seemed to want to do was a good designer again, don't get me wrong but all he seemed to want to do was put a droop snoot on the front which I hated um, I really I just did not like them at all and uh, the Opals had nice clean lines but now again you've got a car which um, when Jeremy Clarkson saw the uh, prototype or the, the original drawings of the, the Astra, the new shape Astra, he said if it looked like that when it came into production he'd eat his own hair and, and he had to because it did. It's a good looking car for a, for a run of the mill mass produced car. It's a good looking car. There is nothing coming. That uh, lady just undertook somebody to get on the inside of me so I couldn't pull in. There you go. So we've got aircon. Say so cruise control, nice sports steering wheel, sports seats, remote central locking electric door mirrors the strange wipers great gearboxes on box holes very slick nicely finished dashboard nice cockpit all kind of uh, contoured well finished
cools out, nearly causes an accident, and then doing 50 miles an hour. No idea is anybody behind you or at the side. have the um, wherever it was eco switch which I've knocked off otherwise it'd be stopping the traffic lights and so on but next to where when you start a motor flywheel engine mounts and saving you 30 pence worth of fuel here, storage space in it, cup holders,
floods are out today. Six-speed gearbox as well. Great steering. Middle of the road to turn left. Oh, damn it. Cruise control switch here. You've got speed limiter as well. That's the cruise control switch there. Switch on. That's uh, just getting up to 50 quickly. And then this thumb wheel here. You click it down to set the speed. If you click down again, you will reduce your speed. If you click up, that increases the speed slightly. Amazing, isn't it? You never meet tractors like that on a long straight stretch like so. You have to meet them at a blind corner when there's hardly enough room to get round. on the left there, speed on the right, in the centre you've got all your trip computer display and then above the trip computer on the left hand side you've got temperature gauge, on the right hand side fuel gauge. Electric front window switches are here. windows will wind up but it is a five door
showing me there the uh, top consumers of power and that's the air conditioning at the moment which is 0 0.02 gallons per hour Uh, aux in there, got a power socket. Here we are back in the garage. Another new addition. And lots of Range Rovers. <laughs> 